welcome back to my channel and if you are new my name is Griselda so in today's video I am going to be creating this eye makeup look I got a few requests from you guys a few days ago I actually went to an event and I wore this look and a lot of you guys were asking me for products how I created it what lashes what lip literally from A to Z so instead of like just posting everything on Instagram and on snapchat I just decided to create this look for YouTube so if you want to see how I get this look make sure to subscribe to my channel don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to turn on your notifications so you get notified every single time I upload and without further ado let's get started with this video so I decided to do my skin and prime my eyes for this look because the focus is going to be the eyeshadow this look was highly requested by you guys I brought the camera in a little closer so you guys can see a little bit more detail of what I will be doing with my eyes so for the eyes I'm going to be using this 27 palette by melt cosmetic what it looks like on the inside it's such a beautiful palette first we're going to transition and we are going to be using this color called naked sleep and then nip slip which is these two right here I'm going to pick those two up and blend those into my crease as my transition color so I want the color to be super rich and I want it to be very skin tone so those two colors together make the perfect skin tone color and I'm just going in with a makeup addiction blender brush you guys can see it just creates that super nice depth transition into the crease and I put a generous amount of those two colors in because I want to make sure that the color payoff is super intense just makes such a pretty color together to deepen up the crease I'm gonna pick up this color right here this one is called moon child that I'm going to concentrate it mainly into the crease and I'm using a more tapered brush this is this one is from Juvia's and as you can see, it's like really tapered. So the product is going to be focused mostly at the tip of the brush. And I'm just gonna pick that brush up and then just go back and forth. And I'm bringing it all the way in, but mainly just focusing that product in the crease. I'm trying not to go too high up, so just kind of in here. And then I go back in and use that other blending brush from Makeup Addiction and just kind of blend everything together. Now we're going to pick up this color called Vegas Past and it's like a really nice dark bronzy color and I'm going to pat that on the lid. And I'm using a 217 by MAC and I'm just pressing it, pressing it, pressing it and blending it at the same time. And I'm using the stomach of the brush. I'm not actually putting it on the tip. That's just applying the color directly onto the lid and the tip of the actual brush is blending out the product into the crease. So here comes the fun part. I'm gonna be using this Pixie. This is called the Liquid Fairy Lights Sunray. This is a topper, like an eye topper. So what I like to do is I like to just focus that product right in the center of the lid so it gives you that really nice halo illusion and then i go back in with my 217 brush and just kind of blend out the edges to blend everything together just try not to do too much because sometimes it can get a little chalky but that's what it looks like so you see how it gives you like a really nice halo effect and it makes my eye appear a lot larger and for lashes i'm going to be using these lily lashes in the style nyc since i'm not going to be doing any eyeliner i feel like these lashes are perfect because you can still see the eyeshadow but you can still see how dramatic the lashes are so we are going to pop these on. I did a coat of mascara first. You can definitely smoke out the bottom eye, but I personally don't like to because I like my eyes to appear very large. So I'm gonna go in with my favorite eyeliner in my waterline. This is the Larger Than Life in the color Rue Bonaparte. This is by NARS. And we're just gonna run that through the waterline. And for my bottom lashes, I'm going to be using my favorite mascara. This is the Giga Black Extended Play by MAC. 
this one just separates my lashes really well i love this mascara because it just doesn't transfer underneath you see how it just like opens up my eyes really well so for my lips i'm gonna go in with sweet tea by morphe i love this lip liner because it just defines my lips really well and it's dark enough where i can still blend it in to make it look very natural um I just love how it just glides on like butter and it's such a good lip liner. And then I'm going to go in with the Dose of Colors No Shade and collab with Desi and Katie. This is my all-time favorite nude lipstick. My lips are so dry. I've done lip scrubs and it just does not go away. And then to top it off, I'm going to be using this Too Faced Lip Injection Gloss. This is called Milkshake. And you know what I forgot? Is blush and highlight. How can I forget that? So for blush, I'm going to be using Kelly Dream by Melt. I just used this in my last video. I love how peachy it is. And for a highlight, I'm going to be using this Jouer. This is the powder highlight in the shade Rose Gold. This has such a pretty rose gold iridescence to it. All right, everyone, so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below, per usual. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video.